All right, look who's here, Victoria Raul. We can all go home now. <laughs> no, stop. No, I'm kidding. But if we really talk about it, yeah. you are such a huge part of the success of YNR in so many ways. I know it, you know it. Yeah. <laughs> what do you remember about first going on that show? When you first that on my show? first day, I had no lines. I was like, oh my God, I get to go on a show. I have no lines. Um, but seriously, on my first day, I had no lines. It was hilarious. Um, but that was my first memory. I thought, God, that was really odd and fun at the same time. And just Bill Bell. Oh my God, he just lit up like a Christmas tree. Um, and he just loved working with me and I loved working with him. And he's like, what else can we do together? And are you really a ballet dancer? And like, yes. yes, I am. And then he wrote that story. And what else can we do? He just was like joy de vie with Bill Bell. Such a wonderful writer. I just loved him to death. And I, I just think of him a lot. I was talking to Brighton the other day. Yes. We were talking about the foster care storyline that was your idea. Yeah. <laughs> and it, you brought that to the table. Do you remember them moving forward with it and like, oh, you're really going to do this? Or? Yes, it was very exciting. So important to me because I knew we had millions of viewers every day. Um, an extraordinary um, issue around child welfare and homelessness and women and children. And um, I presented it. And at the time, Jack Smith was writing. And he said, let's do it. And so it was very exciting to be a part of that. And then Christoph and you. And then, well, I should say, and then yeah. we had to cast my foster son. And that's how we got Brighton James on the show. Were you, did you, were you voting for Brighton? Did you offer your two cents in the casting? Well, I'm just, I'm just an actress. I'm not the cast casting producer. But I was really excited that I got to talk about the character, I thought it should be a son, um, because black boys are so difficult to be placed in foster care. And so they really listened to me and I, you know, I curated as much as I could. And if, if there was ever any questions about authenticity, um, I answered them. I said, absolutely, we should have a social worker um, for Brighton in the show um, that was played by Davina McFadden. That's right. That's right. Yeah, it's great. And then you team up with Kristoff and have this l iconic couple. Yeah, yeah, Kristoff and um, that was Jamar. a lot of a lot of characters got spun off of Drusilla when you come to think of it. Right. Yeah, and, it and really what good. they did with an African American family really they anchored it into the campus. They didn't just island it, or did you feel it was island? No, we were totally cross pollinated. Yeah. I mean, it was groundbreaking for daytime drama to cross-pollinate black and Asian. Remember, Peter Bergman's character had an Asian love interest and Kino, you know, Kimo. So, it, you know, it was, you know, we were ahead of our time and always room for improvement. It's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. I'm, I'm a little bit busy. You're very busy. Um, um, just got finished filming Blended Family and I'm writing a script and I'm getting ready to work with Diane Keaton. Amazing. So I'm excited. excited, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. So excited. And finally, what would you say to the fans who love you as Drusilla? Oh my God, I love you fans so much. You gave me a career. Are you kidding? Without you, there's no Drusilla. So, mwah.